In this tutorial, I will explain how to use the Stanley Controller Gateway version 5.3. This is the, the latest release of the Gateway. And what it allows you to do is to simulate an actual controller. And this comes as an executable file. So the first trick is in actually obtaining the file uh, given some of the constraints with uh, email firewalls and that type of thing. But once you get the executable file, there's no installation. You just run the executable. So I've got it here, the uh, 5.3.0 gateway.exe file. I'll just double click it. And what that will do is launch in your default browser, in my case, uh, Google Chrome. And you'll get this big offline message. And you just click on the offline message and it uh, brings up a, a menu like you would see if you were actually connected to a controller. The first thing you want to do is click on controller and choose the type of controller that you want to emulate. Um, it doesn't really matter uh, unless you're trying to do something very specific for a particular controller so I usually just choose advanced and then you'll get all of the features um, if you have changed from what the previous selection was you'll get a save button so you just click save and then you can just click on spindle one here which is a, a back button going to the previous page uh, just click there and now we're back to the main uh, menu here if you click on rundowns you'll get a blank screen because since this isn't an actual controller, this is just uh, a simulation of a controller, there are no rundowns or trace files in here. Over here in my Windows Explorer, in this particular instance of it, I have a bunch of trace files um, that I've downloaded from another controller Usually when you pull these out, they will come as a zipped file. So you'll first have to extract them or this this won't work. So you must go through the extraction procedure first. And then you can simply grab any of these traces with your mouse and drag them onto the screen, let go of your mouse. And now you'll see that reading with a thumbnail of the trace. If I click on the reading itself, then it brings up the trace uh, and as you move your mouse around the screen uh, the different data points are pointed out. There's also some useful buttons down here if you click on details depending on uh, the version of software that you, the, uh, the version of firmware that's in the controller that these traces came from, you may get this uh, level of data where you actually get results for each one of the uh, steps involved in that fastening process. So you can see in this one there was a, a wobble, a torque control, uh, a pre-torque value, and then another torque control for the final torque value, and then an angle control. So you can see uh, what happened in every one of those steps. You can also click on legend and you can bring other parameters into the trace uh, instead of just uh, torque. Uh, you can look at some of these other parameters that are also saved during the rundown process. If you wish to zoom in to any part of this trace to get a closer look at it, you just simply click and drag. And then you get a zoomed in view here that allows you to really dial in the part of the trace that you want to see. To go back to your uh, full screen view, you just click on uh, rundowns again, and that will take you back to the full screen. And click on rundowns again and it takes you back to your readings and, and trace view. The other thing that you can do if you want to bring multiple traces in at once is you can you can click on multiple 
traces here. If I hold down control, then it will continue to mark all of those. In this case, I've marked five of them. I can grow, put my mouse pointer over any of those, click and drag, and you'll see that there's going to be five additional traces brought in here. And there they are. So now you can click on any of those and look at that trace. Additionally, if you want to overlay them, look at them at the same time. You click on the thumbnail and you'll notice a uh, thumbtack appears. So now I've got three of these marked and then I just click on any of these readings and now you will see that all of the traces are overlaid. So that's the basic operation of viewing traces inside the controller gateway version 5.3.